It's been a long path, but one thing I wanted to show you guys was, you want to know how you go from looking like this to looking like this? You build a salon for your wife that's amazing at what she does and you truly believe in. And I want to show you what I did. I think it's pretty amazing. I hope you think it is too. Here we go. All right, people, this is what we got here. We got a 1968 Fleet Craft travel trailer designed and built in Seattle, Washington. We picked up, it was nicely done, livable, but she's uh, pretty old. So we went through, I took out all the windows, resealed everything, took out all the trim, resealed all of that. We did get all brand new parking and blinker lights just because they were broken or mismatched or whatever. Still need a little bit of work on the outside. We're gonna redo the blue stripe and I'm gonna add some aluminum sheets to that bottom fascia, which is gray. But for the most part, she's uh, pretty done. We added the steps and we added the planters just to make it a little bit more curb appealing. Because as of right now, she is landlocked just because everyone seems to be pretty comfortable coming here. But if she did need to move, she could 100% be turned around and towed. All of our utilities and everything are on this side, which is extremely convenient for the way the house is set up. We've got water, power. We even actually have a drain to drain the tank because she does drain into a tank and we do have to empty the tank but it's like this house was built to have RV access because it's extremely convenient and easy to do. So let's take a look on the inside. So the other reason she's landlocked, meaning she's up on jacks, is because when you step inside, you don't want to rock back and forth because the wheels are on the suspension. So it's a complete solid platform. I actually even have it lifted up off the wheels in order to prevent the wheels from getting flat spots and uh, wearing faster than just sitting with pressure in them. But as you can see, we do have all the conveniences of a salon. We have a shampoo bowl and chair. We have a HEPA filtration system provided by Dyson. Totally worth it. If you don't mind spending the cash, especially in this day and age. We even come equipped with an Alexa. Gotta have Alexa and Wi-Fi. All the counters are custom built by me. They're poplar that I hand-picked the grain and milled down myself. We even managed to get a piece with a pretty amazing knot in it that I was able to custom fill with epoxy. But other than that, they all just got a nice coat of epoxy on them, which makes them virtually bulletproof, solid, I did laminate this piece together, which turned out flawlessly. Everything was meticulously hand-picked to work with a small space. Down to the sink. And the lighting. These are recessed LEDs that only measure a half inch thick once inserted into the ceiling. You can actually change the color temperature between, I believe it's 3,000, uh, I think 4,000 and 5,000 Kelvin. So soft, warm, and cool. But yeah, unbelievable. We did add the barn door slider for the mirror. 
because there is a window behind here, a louvered window that we can open and close for more ventilation. This trailer was absolutely a perfect find. It's completely surrounded with windows that all open except for this back one. It's almost like one of those picture windows. Lets in a lot of light. We do have blackout curtains for security, but also for temperature control because the morning sun comes in pretty hot. So we usually keep those closed until it comes around to the back side. We did do a laminate tile floor that goes down in pieces, not like a giant sheet, but it does resemble a cool shiplap type wood grain, so it even has the texture. You know, when you start looking for materials for things like this, it's when you find those little gems that you never would have thought to use until you're kind of forced to use it because you have no other options. But we made the best out of everything that we found, and it turned out, I think, perfectly. I did custom build all the cabinets and doors because you would imagine underneath this one and the one behind me are the actual wheel wells. I'll give you a little glimpse. So we do lose the space for where the wheel wells are, but again, when you're able to custom build, you can make everything exactly how you need to. We decided to go with sliding doors on this side because when the chair's here, the space of that cabinet with a door it just would have hit the chair, so we did uh, have to change directions on that cabinet. But other than that, they all came out pretty nice. This doubles as storage and the utility closet. That's where all the plumbing, electrical, circuit breakers are stored. Give you a little peep. Nobody likes to look inside of anybody's closets, but yes, this is where all the magic happens, people. Got our 12-volt inverter. We've got our pump for when we want to use the tank, if we did take her somewhere. Of course, a fire extinguisher. We also do have a spot for a hot water heater, but I'm in the process of cleaning it right now because it got air inside of the system. But again, like I was saying, with the convenience of this house, we actually have a hot water spigot. So I'm able to run a hot water line and a cold water line as if it was just running off of the regular utilities of the house. But she does have a spot and hook up for propane and a water heater, a tankless, ventless, instant water heater, which again, in doing all of our research, it just popped up out of nowhere and it was perfect, so we'll get her back up. But it is almost more convenient to just have the double hose hook up. So we'll keep it like that for a while. I did do some under cabinet LED lighting for a lighting feature. And I also doubled it and ran it up here as a light bar just to give a little bit better front lighting for when Jessica's doing makeup or brows. And we can't forget the custom walnut and poplar blow dryer holder that does conveniently fold away. I posted a video of me making that. But it was like, that was another thing. We couldn't find anything as simple as a blow dry holder that would work. So I made it. It's usually how a lot of things go in our household. Can't find it, make it. But Jessica's done an amazing job customizing her salon with all of her crystals. And 
little things she's found along her way. Vintage coat hat holders, which work great for aprons and brooms. But she's coming along. Once the flea markets open up again, we'll be able to find more treasures. But for right now, she's almost like a second home to us. We take care of her as if it was a place we would live. We sanitize it, we clean it. And that was also the reason behind the simplicity of the designs, because we wanted to make it easy to keep hygienic and to clean. and comfortable for clients to come and feel safe in this ridiculous time that we have. Oh, and of course, we can't forget the air conditioner. Gotta have air conditioner in the valley. So there's the salon. I hope you like it. I put a lot of love and effort into it. It was an extremely fun project. It took us roughly two months to completely finish it. It was within a month we had it demoed, floor rebuilt, completely sided, interior done, ready to work within a month. But a lot of the exterior stuff, like the planters and the ceiling and all of that took some time just because it's, yeah, what is it? I don't even know, do the math. It's 50 years old, at least 60 years old. And she, uh, she had some dirt on her. So we had to go through it. But I also wanted to make sure it was done right. So there you go. There's the story. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching. We had fun doing this one. And uh, there she is. We call her trailer queen for right now. She's our little toaster. And we love her. All right, everybody have a great day. Thanks again.